Good morning, Falling Spring. I hope you all are doing well. I've heard that school is now going to be closed until April 6th. So I'll be praying for all of you, for everyone who's attending or working in schools as we deal with this new reality. I'm sure that one of the things we're all dealing with is I'm stuck at home. What am I going to do? Yesterday, I downloaded the movie Contagion and watched that. Not a good idea. But I have puzzles out and games and doing things, reading books that I've always wanted to read, which is exciting. It really occurred to me that one of the things that would help all of us is maybe going over some devotional methods that you can use with your family or friends, anybody, with yourself during this hard time. What I'm going to talk about today is one of my favorites. It's called Lectio Divina. Lectio Divina has been around for a long time. It basically means divine reading. And what we're trying to do here is is find out if God is speaking to us through the Bible, or are there parts of the Bible that are really speaking to us? This is something you can do yourself, or it's something you can do with your family. So I, on my devotional this morning, I read Colossians 1, 7, 1, 17. For Lectio Divina, what you do is one person reads from the Bible, or you can read uh, something from the Bible, a passage. This is from NIV. Let me read it to you. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. So for Lectio Divina, after you read that, Take time yourself or with your family and ask yourself, does any of this strike me? Did any of these words kind of leap out of the page? Then what you do is you go to another translation, or if you're doing it yourself, or another person if you're doing it with your family. This is the Passion Translation of the same thing, Colossians 1.17. He existed before anything was made, and now everything finds completion in him. It's a little bit different, but is there anything in this translation that leaps out to you or to anybody in your family and talk about it? Then do it a third time. This is from the CEB, the Common English Bible. He existed before all things, and all things are held together in him. So again, three different readings of the same verse, done slowly. I did it a little bit quicker than we usually should. But does anything leap out to you? And if the answer is yes, talk about it or write it in a prayer journal. And think about it, pray about it. This, this passage is really about the sovereignty of God, and that's a very important concept for the Reformers and for us, knowing that God's in charge, God's got this, and we are all God's subjects. But again, this is a, a very easy devotional method that you can use at home, where you pick a passage of scripture, read it from different translations, my... Uh, you version has these different translations, or have different people in your family read it and then talk about it. What, what leapt out from the page? Because that could be God speaking to you uh, with a message, or it could be something that your spirit's attracted to. It's a wonderful devotional method that I've used for years and uh, absolutely love it. It's how I prepare my sermons, actually. Friends, I pray that all are doing well. We are thinking about you. We are praying for you. I miss you. I miss seeing everybody. Let's pray. Glorious and loving God, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for Lectio Divina, divine 
reading, and I just ask your blessing upon everybody who tries this. I ask that you speak to them, comfort them, give them thy peace. I also ask for everybody who may be dealing with coronavirus as a patient or as a provider, surround them with your love and your comfort. I pray for my staff and all of the membership and visitors and friends of the Presbyterian Church of Falling Spring. May they know that you are God, we are your people, we're going to be okay because God is our King. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you today, this week, and forevermore. Amen.